What's going on everybody? My name is Quentin Ivey and thanks for dropping in. Today we're going to talk about removing ambient light so that you only get the light coming from your off-camera flash on your subject when you're shooting studio photography. For this demonstration I'll be using my Canon 70D, my Flashpoint Evolve 200, and the Flashpoint R2 Pro flash trigger. Now, if you haven't bought into a system yet, make sure that the flash system that you do purchase is compatible with the camera brand that you're using. For instance, this uh, Flashpoint Evolve system that I bought into had Canon compatible on it when I purchased it. So make sure you do that. I'm not sure if you could use a Nikon system with or a Sony system with the Canon, but I wasn't trying to find out either. So to save yourself a lot of trouble, make sure that when you buy your system, specifically these Flashpoint models, make sure it has Canon for Canon on the label before you hit purchase. Now, the first thing you wanna do before you even turn on your trigger, once you mount it on your camera, is make sure that you eliminated any ambient light in the room. For this demonstration, I was shooting with my lights on in my, my studio. Uh, so that there was some ambient light that I had to remove. You do this because you wanna make sure that you're only capturing the light from your flash and not any additional light that might be seeping into your, to your image. So here's my disclaimer. This is what I do to set up for my uh, shots. If you see something different, then by all means, try it out. With that all being said, the first thing that I do is I drop my ISO down to 100 or the base ISO of your camera if it is, it may be 100, it may be 200, I'm not sure. But for the Canon systems that I use, it's 100. I drop that down so that I get the least amount of grain, or in this case, no grain, in my photos. The second thing you wanna do is determine what your aperture is gonna be. You can use a wide aperture, meaning like a 1.8, that gives you a lot of depth of field, but it has a small area that might be in focus. So if you're focusing on the eye, your nose may be out of focus if you use a wide aperture. For this demonstration, I'll be using f5.6 if you wanna make sure your photo is tack sharp. So after you adjusted your ISO and your aperture, you wanna adjust your shutter speed to eliminate any movement and get the image as dark as you can. I usually do mine to start off at 1 60th of a second and then I take a shot. When you take that shot, your frame should be all black. If it's not, make adjustments to your shutter speed as needed. Maybe raise it up to maybe 200th of a second or 250th if your camera goes that high. But you have to consider the power of your flash. But for this, I'm gonna keep mine at 1 60th of a second. So after you verify that your frame is completely black and there's no ambient light seeping in, go ahead and turn on your flash, go ahead and turn on your trigger and take another shot. Now, as far as light, I generally keep mine at about 1 1 16th starting off just to make sure I like the exposure and then I'll adjust it higher or lower if I need to. But pretty much you're done. You're ready to go and you can focus on the shoot. The key things to take away from this is are make sure your frame is completely black and there's no ambient light coming into the shot. And by ambient light, if you don't know, I'm talking about like light bulbs or any other light coming into the room. It may be light coming from a window. If you have something like that, the best thing to do is try to cover it up with like maybe a thick blanket or a sheet if you have it. But if you can't, you're gonna have to try to adjust your shot so that you don't get any of that light seeping into your shot and you're only getting the light from your flash. But that's all I got. Thanks for listening in. If you have any questions about what I just told you guys, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.